Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you're all really well today and thanks so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to the second instalment of my Living Alone in London diaries. It's actually Sunday today. It's been a good week actually. It's been productive. The weather's been fairly good so I can't complain. I thought I would film today even though it is a Sunday so it's quite chill and I don't actually have any major plans. I haven't had really any weekend plans this weekend because last weekend was bank holiday. So I went out on the Friday and the Sunday and then Saturday kind of recovered and then Monday also recovered. <laughs> so I feel like I had like that four day weekend and this weekend I just needed to chill because there's actually another bank holiday next weekend, which is amazing, but also crazy. So many bank holidays all close together. Anyway, before we do get into the video, I just wanted to point out the gorgeous jewellery that I'm currently wearing because this video is actually kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa, which I'm so excited about as I absolutely love their jewellery pieces. They're right up my street. You know, I was scrolling the website and I was completely, completely spoiled for choice. There's just so many gorgeous, gorgeous pieces on there. So I've got this dainty little flower necklace and then I also have the bracelet to match, which is just the cutest. I'm obsessed. I got them in the gold. They also do them in silver. One of the great things about Ana Luisa is that even though the jewellery is really high quality, the prices are actually so affordable. I also love how much they actually care about the planet. All of the products and packaging is carbon neutral. They actually really care about the impact they're having on the planet. I also love how unique the designs are. You know, there's pieces on the website that I haven't seen anywhere else and just, you know, stand out things that I know that people are gonna comment on when I'm wearing them. I've already had compliments on these people saying how lovely they are. And the best part is they're actually doing a sale. So if you buy one piece of jewelry, you can get another piece for 40% off. I will put my link in the description box where you can get the 40% off. Let me know if you do end up getting anything or any of your favorite pieces, anything like that. I love to chat to you guys, of course. So yeah, I hope you love them. I'm really, really happy with these. Also, please excuse the chip nails. <laughs> oh my goodness, can anybody else just not seem to keep gel on the nails? Mine always chip. Apparently it's because my nails are really weak because I used to have acrylics all the time, but now I don't have them anymore. But it's obviously gonna take time for my natural nails to fully grow out and be strong again. So yeah, but anyway, so what is next on the agenda? I actually think I'm gonna, dare I say it, it's gonna get up. I think I'm gonna take Noah out because it is afternoon now already and I wanna make the most of the weather. I think the weather's gonna get kind of crappy after today. Oh my God, no it's not. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. It's actually gonna be all right for like the next week. Bit cloudier. Hello guys, so two things I just wanna say. My hair is so frizzy today. I honestly don't know what's going on. And also my lips are so dry, so if I look crusty, I'll just ignore the fact I look a bit crusty. Also, I'm slightly um, self-conscious. <laughs> Obviously it's a Sunday, so it's really busy down here. I did really wanna come down and film because I just wanna show you guys how amazing this area is. I feel like people sometimes when they think of London, um, if, you know, if you're not from London and stuff, a lot of the time people think Oxford Street, Covent Garden, those kind of places which are obviously amazing and I freaking love all the touristy things, I really do. Obviously I'm not a Londoner either, like I'm from up north so it is always going to be a bit of a novelty to me as well. However, I love East London where I live and I'm actually um, a short walk away from where I live right now which is Hackney Wick and it is just the coolest place so I just wanted to show you guys the vibe basically and I think on a Sunday it's good to show you as well because obviously it's vibey. The weather today is not the best but it's also not too bad so it is quite busy out. Also we have Noah who absolutely loves it here. So this is the canal this place is called Here East and then there's a load of really cute bars and restaurants down here which I will show you. Obviously you've got all the canal boats which again I'm going to show you some of them because there's some really cute ones. A place called La Terraza. I've never actually been there but it looks cute because obviously on the boat. People literally live on these boats by the way. I've fully thought about living on a boat. It's one of the crazy things I put to my mum a few weeks ago and she was just like Jones I just never know what's going to come out of your mouth. You are absolutely crazy. I know I am. 
So this is Grow Bar, which is really cool. They do loads of really cool events and stuff and really good vegan food and non-vegan food as well. And they have loads of cool music and events and stuff like that. All, it's basically like a community arts venue. It's really, really cool. And then down here, you will see, lovely. Down here, you will see there is a place called Crate. Basically, this is Queen's Yard, which I will take you around and have a look at as well. I'm bombarding you with a lot of information, but <laughs> I just want to show you guys everything because this is how I come literally every day with a dog or for a run or, you know, I just love it here so much. It's genuinely my happy place. And the sun has come out, which is great. Oh, I'm a little bit dark under here. No worries. Wait, baby. Yeah, I love running down here, running down the canal. I go the other way as well, which I will take you. I don't know how much time I'm going to spend out today, but if I don't show you everything today, I'll obviously show you next week or something. But yeah, I just really wanted to show you the vibe. So this is Crate over there. They do really good pizza, apparently. Instagram, I don't know what that is, but it looks like some sort of bar, I think. As we come down here, we come to a couple of my favourite places. You can see the Olympic Stadium there as well. And the, I think it's called the Orbit or something. Also, I really need a bin, so let's go to that. This is Barge East and Milk Float. So this one's Milk Float. They do burgers, good vegan burgers, and coffee and stuff. You can sit up there. It's really, really cool. And then this all belongs to Barge East, which is actually this boat here, which specialise in a Sunday roast, which I'm sure a lot of people have enjoyed today. They do a vegan one too, and veggie. And then they have all this extra space as well, extra seating area and an extra bar here. I was here also last weekend, people doing a little bit of rowing. Very cute. Obviously, it's just in his absolute element. He does have, I have to say, he has a very good life, <laughs> don't you? We just love it here so much. I'm always a big, big fan of this view. I don't know why, I just love it. <laughs> I think it looks so cool. And here, apparently, you can go axe throwing. I do know a few people who've been and said it's really good. I don't know how I feel about it, but the option is there if anybody's interested. There you go. Love it. I can hear people doing it, actually. So, this is Queen's Yard. And basically, through here, you've got loads of little bars and restaurants and little um, trucks and stuff. This place we can fish is meant to be really good. It's actually shut right now. And then you can also get onto the canal to Crate. But yeah, this is very vibey on an evening. It gets absolutely packed. There's always lots of parties and stuff held here and events. Hackneywick Station. And then I'll just show you down here very quickly. I just wanted to show you this pub which is a very, very cool pub called the Lord Napier. I went in last week and they've got a rooftop and stuff. And it's just really, really nice. Oh, look, Thai curry night every Wednesday evening. So that's a little tour from me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. <laughs> just a few bits and bobs. I think I'll show you a few more bits um, at the canal as well. I've come a bit of a weird way, to be honest. Also, definitely did not need a coat. Even though this is really a thin jacket, I definitely didn't need it. It's actually boiling. Before we head back, I just wanted to show you guys this area, which holds some of my favorite places to come. So we have the Breakfast Club, if you guys aren't familiar with the breakfast club they are a chain kind of like a london chain i think there might be one in brighton as well but anyway amazing food amazing everything basically and there is another little vegan cafe strictly vegan cafe at the end of this little stretch called motherworks and it's literally amazing i've eaten there ages ago now like years ago 
and um, I need to go back because it's so good and it's really cool decor. I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually show you inside I think it's going to be really busy but definitely another day. So when it's really hot weather in sort of the height of summer this is all covered in people and then this is some skateboard thing I don't really know what that is. The lock-in which is a cute little pub apparently they have a pub quiz. Um, Gotto which is a gorgeous Italian went in there for a drink a few weeks ago, it was really nice. The Breakfast Club. You all right there, mister? And then, as I said, Mother Works. Oh, and there's F45 as well, which I've actually never done that workout, but apparently it's very good. Here's Mother Works, the plant-based kitchen. They have the main restaurant, and then they have a little hatch as well for coffee, juice, all that kind of thing. I don't know if I can just quickly like show you guys inside because it's very cute. Look. So cool. That was a bit awkward. I really shouldn't have done that, should I? I think we're probably going to head back now because I actually have to film a TikTok for a brand. So I'm going to go back and do that. And I might show you guys what I got from ASOS recently. I got a few bits the other day. So I might, even though I've worn some of them, I might just show you. Oh, one of them is this t-shirt I'm wearing actually. Let's tighten that harness, babes. It's a bit loose at the front, isn't it? Should we go home, have a cuppa? Hi guys, home now, as you can see. Just had a cuppa and about to have a Misfits bar. By the way, if you're interested, this is my second favorite flavor. My favorite flavor is the white chocolate speculees one. This one closely followed and also the chocolate caramel I absolutely love as well and the banoffee. I feel like the banoffee is a solid choice as well. If you do wanna get 10 pounds off, I'll pop my code on screen um, and pop it in my description box as well. So yeah, I have a code where you can get 10 pound off, which is amazing. They're the best vegan protein bars ever. Honestly, I'm obsessed with them. You look so sweet. It's just been chilling now, aren't you darling? You've had a good day. As promised, I am going to show you some of the bits that I got from ASOS. I did this order about a week ago. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it all, to be honest. I did get this t-shirt, which I'll just show you. It's just like a long-sleeved, um, was it Topshop? No, I think this was actually ASOS. I actually got <laughs> loads of long-sleeved t-shirts because obviously it's that kind of weather where it's kind of warm enough to not have a coat but it can still get a little bit cold i went a bit crazy because they had loads of t-shirts in the sale so i just thought you know what i'm just gonna order them i think these were all in the sale or they might have just been some sort of discount on that night you know when they do like 20 percent off site-wide discounts and stuff like that the first t-shirt i've got was this one which is really cool because you can see on the back it has the design much bigger I just like the color I feel like that will go with everything I have tried this on do you know what pretty much all of them I kind of want to keep but it is a little bit excessive so I'm not sure I also got this one which is um this is Topshop but obviously Topshop is now on ASOS so this one which is a really nice blue color I feel like this gives me like a vintage vibe Again, will I keep this? I'm not sure. I might just keep them all because to be honest, they were all like £10 or something. So they were really, really good value. And then I got this one, which I have wore. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Just love the colour. So this is from a brand called Reclaimed Vintage, which I love their stuff. It's got this little sunflower on. And then on the back, it has a much bigger design. Stop and smell the flowers. Reclaimed Vintage flower child does it say i don't know anyway i just really really like that so cool and then this is the one that i'm not sure about it's slightly less oversized which i think is kind of a good thing so i don't want everything to be like really long and oversized and stuff but i don't know it is still a bit oversized i'm not sure about this one i think it might be the most expensive one that might be why but this is from billabong um obviously it's yellow I don't know because I do think I like the colour. I'm trying to wear more colour, believe it or not. I don't know. I just feel like this with some little denim shorts in the summer would look quite cool. And then these are not summery, <laughs> but I needed them. 
I always wear slippers. I hate walking about in socks or bare feet. I don't know why, I just like to wear slippers. I've had these before, like last year, and they were in the sale, really cheap. I think they were like seven quid. So these are the black fluffy sliders, just very basic, can't really go wrong, can you? And these are Simi. And then I also got them in this beige colour and I've just took them off my feet actually. <laughs> but yeah, they're so comfy. They're kind of a little bit platformy. Um, and then the last thing that I got from ASOS is some new trainers. These were a right bargain. I think they were supposed to be £90 and they were down to £54 or something like that. Then I got a student discount on top of that. So they ended up being a right steal. Already in the last week, I've worn these a lot, but they are the Nike... I want to say Renew, I think that's what they're called, but I'm not entirely sure. I basically have the same ones in black, I've had them for ages and they are the comfiest, most versatile trainers. They're great for running, they're great just for general training or just for, you know, just wearing day to day. Obviously I love pink, so, you know, I couldn't resist, but they are them trainers that I'm just going to get endless wear out of, so very happy with that purchase and then I might as well just show you this to you guys because I've had quite a few questions on Instagram of people asking me where this is from and they've seen it in stories. So this is my new AirPod case. Isn't it just adorable? I actually cannot cope. And I actually got this off Amazon and it was literally, I think, seven quid, something like that. It's very random, but I just like to be random sometimes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to include hauls and stuff within these vlogs. Um, just mix it up really and just do whatever I fancy. I will see you in a bit, probably when I'm gonna go to bed. Right guys, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I've got a very <laughs> adorable little pooch who wants to go to bed. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought I would show you a bit of London that maybe you've not seen before. Don't forget to check out Anna Louisa. I'll link everything in the description box for you. And they are doing an amazing sale there with one product and then you'll get another full 40% off, which is just amazing. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you very soon and I'm sending you loads of love. Bye.